In the mystical homelands of the Navajo peoples, where spirituality and nature are bound together, was born the legend of the Skinwalkers, known in Navajo as the one who walks on four legs. These mysterious beings are more than simple folklore figures. They are respected and feared entities within the Navajo culture. Belief in skinwalkers stretches back to ancient times, embedded in traditions and stories passed down from generation to generation. They are viewed not only as shapeshifters able to change form, but as figures who embody a disturbed balance, an overturning of the community's moral and ethical values. By delving into the Skinwalkers' origins, we come to find out that they are often associated with Navajo sorcerers, who, having performed dark and forbidden rituals, acquire the power to transform themselves. These rites are seen as a betrayal of sacred Navajo teachings and practices, casting the practitioners as outcasts within their own community. Evil in the Navajo tradition is embodied in the figure of the Evil One, who leads other malignant entities. These are not physical beings, but hold profound influence over humans, inflicting illness and other evils, and twisting people's minds to make them distance themselves from Navajo values and become skinwalkers. Transforming into a skinwalker is not only a physical switch, but also a symbol of spiritual and moral degradation. These corrupted beings wield the power to mutate their forms, adopting the features of diverse animals, the Skinwalkers' shape-shifting is not just a change of appearance, it carries with it an intimate bond with the animals they choose to morph into. Each animal brings with it unique attributes that the Skinwalkers call upon and incorporate, be it the cunning of a coyote, the strength of a bear, or the agility of a wolf. This allows them to access abilities and perceptions that transcend normal human capabilities. However, this ability is not gained without a price. In Navajo stories, turning into a skinwalker involves performing extremely evil acts, often involving betrayal and sacrifice. The transformation ability comes from an individual's downfall from the way of harmony and balance, traits held in such high esteem in Navajo culture. When a skinwalker changes into an animal, he not only changes his body, he relinquishes his humanity plunging into a realm of darkness and forbidden power. This shift is both an act of liberation and a curse, providing extraordinary powers at the cost of one's own soul and frequently the community to which one used to belong. Becoming a skinwalker involves taking part in ceremonies consisting of extreme acts of evil, such as murder, particularly of a close relative, like a brother or sister. This transgression is regarded not only as a crime against the individual, but as a violation of the social and spiritual fabric of the community. These rituals are the opposite of sacred Navajo values and practices, plunging participants into the depths of the black arts. The initiation itself is a desecration, a deliberate rupture with all that is held sacred and pure in Navajo culture. Initiation rituals may include macabre acts, such as cannibalism and necrophilia, carried out in secret and isolated places, like caves out of sight of the community. Throughout these rituals, would-be skinwalkers perform chanting and inverted sand painting, breaking with traditional Navajo practices. These rituals are conducted under the Shroud of Night, symbolizing the participants' alliance with the dark forces. By completing these rituals, initiates gain otherworldly powers, including the ability to metamorphose, Yet this transformation comes at the price of their humanity and connection to the community, and they become beings of power, but also of isolation and curse. When in animal shape, they preserve their consciousness and intentions, using their new guise to accomplish specific tasks that would be difficult or impossible in their human form. As small or ordinary local animals, such as crows or coyotes, Skinwalkers can quietly approach homes or people to spy and peer in without arousing suspicion. By taking the form of larger, more threatening animals, such as wolves or bears, skinwalkers can frighten or intimidate people. These shapes are used to startle or send a warning. While not the most common use of their animal forms, 
Skinwalkers can use the power of these larger animals to strike directly at their victims, inflicting injury or even death. Besides the ability to transform into animals, Skinwalkers possess a range of supernatural powers and skills that make them highly feared and respected figures in Navajo culture. One of their most intriguing abilities is imitating human and animal voices. Skinwalkers use these talents to deceive, entice, or confuse their victims, mimicking the voices of acquaintances or the sounds of animals to mask their presence. Manipulating and controlling people's dreams and thoughts is one of the Skinwalker's many powers. They can enter people's dreams, triggering nightmares and fear. This mental tampering isn't just limited to dreams. It can also cause confusion or fear even when its victim is awake. Skinwalkers are also given the power to cast curses and spells, using personal objects, the blood or hair of their victims to carry out their spells. These curses can cause illness, misfortune, and even death. It is also believed that they can bring illness and misfortune simply by their presence, unbalancing and bringing chaos to those who cross their path or to the surrounding communities. But skinwalkers are also known to have superhuman endurance and speed, allowing them to chase or escape their pursuers with ease. These remarkable physical abilities, coupled with their manipulation and shape-shifting capabilities, make skinwalkers extremely powerful and dangerous entities. The skinwalkers have a profoundly cryptic and disturbing effect on the Navajo community and society. This extends beyond fear and superstition, infiltrating the community's social and cultural dynamics. The perceived or suspected presence of a skinwalker in Navajo society can instill a sense of distrust and fear. There is ongoing concern that community members may be secretly engaged in skinwalker practices, leading to accusations and conflicts within it. This suspicious climate can result in the social exclusion of suspicious individuals or families, damaging community cohesion and harmony. They are often blamed for inexplicable events or misfortunes in the community, such as sudden illnesses, deaths, or even natural disasters. Blaming skinwalkers can serve as a way for Navajo communities to account for and deal with the hardships of life and the world around them, challenges that often happen by chance and are beyond their control. But it can also bolster the fear and superstition surrounding these mysterious beings. The Navajos follow many traditional practices and rituals to protect themselves from the skinwalkers and their negative powers. Such practices are crucial to maintaining balance and harmony, both personally and as a community. Praying and chanting is a standard way of seeking spiritual protection. These prayers call upon the protection of sacred beings and ancestors, empowering the individual against evil influences. They also turn to traditional native medicine and healers to perform cleansing and protection rituals, and naturally, Objects such as talismans and amulets are used for personal protection. These items may be blessed by healers and carry with them a spiritual importance as a shield against skinwalkers and other negative entities. The Navajos are reluctant to engage in conversations about skinwalkers, witchcraft, and the dark arts with outsiders. They are concerned that the early interest in learning about these subjects may lead to recruitment by evil and, consequently, to helping demons spread evil throughout the world. The Skinwalker's dread is not just a shallow fear or a fleeting superstition. It is a deep reflection of how important balance, morality, and respect for the laws of nature and the spiritual are, according to Navajo traditions.